Do we have a moral obligation to become parents? Some would say yes. There are three types of arguments to support such a contention. One, we owe it to humanity at large to propagate the species, or to society, to provide manpower for future tasks. Two, we owe it to ourselves to realize our full potential as human beings, or males or females, by becoming parents. And three, we owe it to our unborn children to give them life. The first two arguments are easy to dispense with. We have minimal, a minimal moral obligation to humanity and to society, and that is to conduct ourselves so as not to harm others. All other ethical edicts are either derivative or spurious. Similarly, we have a minimal moral obligation to ourselves, and that is to be happy while not harming others. If bringing children to the world makes us happy, all for the better. If we would rather not procreate, it is perfectly within our rights to not do so. But what about the third argument, that our unborn children have a right to be given life? Only living people have rights. There is a debate, of course, whether an egg is a living person. There can be no doubt that it exists. Its rights, whatever they are, derive from the fact that it exists and it has the potential to develop life. But an egg is not a living person. The right to be brought to life, the right to become or to be, cannot pertain to a non-live entity and therefore is null and void. Had this right existed, we would have implied an obligation or a duty to give life to the unborn and the not yet conceived. No such duty or obligation exists.